Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are going to learn how we can create a search component within Power Apps, which can search across the SharePoint sites list and as well as across OneDrive to serve the result. And this component we are going to build without using any Power Domain. We are going to directly work with MS Graph Explorer API for searches and we'll integrate those APIs into Power Apps. We'll call, we'll have our response data, and then we'll traverse through the data to actually filter out the exact result, the attributes which we want to show on our Power App screen. So right now you can see I have created one simple search component, which is having one search text box with where I can write anything. Uh, let's say I'll just write in my name, which can search across all SharePoint sites and get the data. So you can see I got this data. And if I click on any of the button, it will launch that document or uh the details into the other tab so this is how you can have a search integrity in your power apps now we will understand how we can actually work with this so i'll just close this one and we'll start from scratch from one of the new app i'll just open make.powerapps.com as i said like we'll be directly calling the ms graphs to get the search results so i'll just directly open ms graph explorer so that we can find out the exact endpoints which we are going to leverage in this video so it has opened i'll just search for search which will give me this filtered data of endpoints which can be leveraged which can be used to search my sites list library so over here if i click on this search list item so if you see like in the post i have this already one endpoint built with search slash query and we have this request body which says entity type so entity type can be of different types drive items sites list which actually is nothing but scopes of searches so entity type when we say list item it will search for list item and if i open any of the other endpoint let's say search with multiple uh, requests so it will open the multiple entity types so over here drive item drive site list list item so these are the required or these the defined entity types which can be used for our search APIs. we can again go back to our list item and we'll directly for our test purpose we'll just do a direct test run in this uh, endpoint itself for the entity type list and query string i'll just say everything or you can pass on like whatever query string you want to filter and in the fields in the response we wish to have this id name content class title and i'll just say web url as well so that we can have a direct url of that list item so when i run it it will give me the result now you can see i have this value and json and under that we have this hit containers object which has nested object as hits hits is one of the object and we have this total result and more result available true so these attributes we get as part of response and as i expand hits one you can see there is an object which is resource which contains this entire attribute which we are willing to extract the fields id name title id and web url so let's get started using this MS Graph API endpoint into our Power Apps directly. So I'll just create one Power Apps from blank. So I will add one header quickly and set this text of this header here point search. And we'll set these font sizes as 35. We'll align that to middle. And we will set the vertical alignment as top and set the color back color as light and the font color as white so that it can be visible all right i'll just put one text box so that we can type in our text to search over here and we'll just divide this one a bit and we'll drop one glass icon for search 
and we'll just place that to decide to our text box and we want to display our result into gallery so i'll just go and grab one vertical gallery and this gallery we are going to just keep it like this for a while before we write anything so in this text input or on this click of this class icon what we are going to do we are going to actually call our ms graph api endpoint and to call to make that happen we have to add data source as connector so i'll just say office 365 groups and we'll use this one so that we can call our ms graph api endpoint so this is added so in this one as you see like we have this post call this endpoint and we have this request body so we are going to construct the request body i'll just save this app demo sharepoint search if you look at my this first of all i'm just typing this as a result so whatever result we are going to use going to have and in office CCI groups we are going to use http request and in this one you can see i have this uri method and file these three parameters i have to pass so first of all uri i'll just grab the uri from this explorer and we'll place it over here in double quotes and as in second parameter we have this as post call and the third parameter is file so file we are going to create one variable for file i'm just keeping like this for now and i'll just create one space to create some other more variables because we have to construct this file and this file is base 64. so i have written that into our my notepad if you look at it so the first part which is nothing but the request body i'll just paste it so request body is the same body which we are going to pass like this so over here we have this request body where we are going to specify entity type query string that would be reading from text and this fields what fields we want to fetch out so over here you can see request body entity types is list item query query string and this text input one dot text and the fields which i want to extract out of it so this request very uh, body variable is created over here so just remember because we need to add one more code over here so that it can be used as an escape character so you can simply copy whatever is being given over here just replace the single uh, double quotes with the two double quotes and start using that or like i'll place everything which i have written in this notepad into the description so that you can directly copy so second part is to create this file variable over here with base 64 so i'm just directly copying this one rather than going into details you can directly use this one variable so i'll i'll paste the same one into the description you can directly pick it so right now we have created request body we have created variable for file and this variable for file can directly be used so over here the last line is actually calling our http request with the endpoint with post variable verify so as i said like uh, our output would be set into the result so for seeing that what we are going to set going to have in our result as an output we are going to save it once and run it and we'll just uh, open the monitor so that we can see what response we are getting out of our this request call so i'm just minimizing this one opening going to this setting tools and open monitor and we'll run time we'll see what response we are getting off our call so i'll just run that for a while i'll just input my keyword as let's say rohit and just doing a call and once this call is made if i go to this class one my http request is success and i can view what i am getting into my http request response so if i scroll down you can see i got this value search terms with hit containers and hit so over here right now we got this hit id rank summary resources and their fields fields which we have specified id title 
and web url so these are the field which we are going to use so now we are getting this output as in json and we have to uh, traverse through this resource and fields object to extract the actual data for that i'll go back to my app and we'll start connecting my this gallery which we created which we had earlier and we will copy this one if you look at this i'll just copy this into formula and this same thing into description which can be directly used so over here you can see i have this tables created result dot value will give me the entire json and the json would be this one uh, let me call it up the json would start from value value and inside we have this hit containers object so reading out the index of one that will give me the first object then table of that hit containers value dot hit containers and then extracting the hits object out of it so this hit object would be array of my all the objects all the resources which would have the individual items and will be extracting the item out of it so that's why till this we are binding it the table the record till hits and inside this gallery in this title and subtitle we are going to traverse through our actual fields so we'll be going inside of our this dot item dot resource dot fields and then dot uh, the name attribute so we will write this item value dot resource dot fields and we'll just pick name it's not name is title so this title we got it and in the subtitle we are going to just show the web url i'll just say this value resources resource dot fields dot web url so we did not get it and i'll just double check so it's not inside field it's directly web url so we have to remove fields and directly use this web url and the same web url we are going to bind on the selection of this arrow so that it can open in a new tab so i'll just go to next arrow on selection of this what we are going to do we are going to write launch this item dot value dot resource dot web url and we are going to pass nothing as in parameter and we want to open this in target as new i'll just say target as blank and we can save this one so now we will run this search component and we'll test whether we are getting the results out of it or not so i'll just say sales so we got multiple records for sales and if i just refine something let's say with the employee so we got the search result based on employee so that's how you can build a simple search component which can search across sites so you can see some data is coming from my personal that is one drive some data is coming from one of the spfx site some is having this ltit a different site so it's a search is actually searching the records across all the sites and as i said if you wish to search on the multiple entities not just on list items you can do a multiple entity types as we have this beta search uh, endpoint try to leverage this one which can include the multiple entity types and you can include the query string as we discussed earlier so that's how you can simply build out your custom search within power apps using sharepoint uh, search attributes but using ms graph api instead of using the power automate so that's a simple video so that is it for today's video if you have any questions then please do drop your comments i'll try to answer thank you